While I may be considering a number of things, I do know where I land on this. Nothing exemplifies the need for us to meet somewhere in the middle more than when it comes to health care. We have two political parties who have radically different paths on where they think that we must travel to find a solution. In the 10 years leading up to the passage of the Affordable Care Act, health insurance premiums, they increased to the tune of more than 130%, while inflation only rose about 28% and workers' earnings about 38% during that same time. See a problem here? Healthcare costs were already on a runaway path and something had to be done. And while I don't believe the ACA was the answer, it was a start. The problem with the Affordable Care Act was, and still is, that it only focused on one part of the healthcare issue in the U.S., and that was the finance model, or what we refer to as health insurance. It did very little to curb the actual cost to deliver and receive health care, and until we solve for that, health insurance is just going to continue to rise. If you listen to Republicans, you might think that they want to go back to a system similar to what life was like prior to the ACA. Sure, they'll say things like they're up for the need to protect people from pre-existing conditions, but rarely will you see anyone from the GOP stating anything positive about the ACA. And when it came their turn to solve the issue legislatively, something they campaigned on for nearly a decade, they failed because they couldn't come together. And when it comes to Democrats, have you seen the cost of health care or health insurance go down since the Affordable Care Act was passed? Because I haven't. What I have seen is the stock prices of the five largest health insurance carriers go up over 200%. Hospital systems continue to grow and acquire, and a pharmaceutical industry reporting record profits. So I can tell that Democrats really had a solution there. In case my sarcasm isn't coming through here, let me be clear. Neither the ACA nor going back to the way things were prior to the ACA will solve health care by themselves. But coming together with ideas from both sides, that just might do the trick. The only bipartisan behavior I've seen is that both parties are guilty of using the courts to try to legislate their version of policy when each of their legislative initiatives have failed. And to that I say, shame on us. We need regulations passed from the government putting the brakes on these healthcare companies. Don't price fix, but don't give them the ability to price gouge either. And don't get me started on single payer. Our capitalistic system is responsible for the vast majority of the world's innovation in healthcare. You want that to end overnight? Remove free market capitalism. We need the government, both parties represented, to come, to come together and fix this problem. They say that the hallmark of good compromise is that no one is happy. Well, no one's happy right now when it comes to healthcare, so we might as well go get something done. You need somewhere to start? Let's legislate mandatory transparency in the system, enforce existing antitrust laws to break up monopolies, and legislate new standards for the FDA to get proven drugs and treatments to market sooner. These are things we should all be able to agree on. Who doesn't want to know the price of something before they buy it? Who doesn't want to have options and not be bound to a single choice? And who doesn't want the newest, latest, and greatest when it comes to healthcare? Americans are consumers, but our free market in healthcare is as clear as mud, and we need to clean that up. Finding myself somewhere in the middle, I'm Seth Denson.